Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and romantic stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, I bring you news. Catherine's endearing moments as the People's Queen shone through, winning the hearts of her adoring public. Do you get the impression that Princess Catherine is going to wear a button-up gown and ugly shoes to a yachting competition? The woman is here to get her fingers dirty, which means she'll probably behave like any other individual who happened to be wearing a 12-carat diamond on their engagement ring finger. Actually, however, who could hold the lady responsible for that? No, we're unable to accomplish that. Catherine's parents were a pilot and airline attendants who had a multi-million dollar company, so she never felt the need to always get dressed to the nines when she left her home. Occasionally, she wishes she could simply seem to behave normally. She has always been quite emphatic about attempting to seem like a regular person, despite her title. Doing things like giving hugs to youngsters she sees on the street and participating in the sporting events she's there to support. Catherine's efforts to simplify things on occasion are quite understandable. When you factor in her enthusiasm for exploring the outdoors and athletic competition, it's clear that she won't be content to look like she's fresh from a royal tea party in a tweed suit and frilly frock. Who could possibly believe that she would wear three-inch heels and pursue Prince George across a field of grass? We weren't convinced, so, yet considering her muscular build, she probably might. Aspiring socialite Catherine is no stranger to wearing less than glamorous equipment, such as this rock climbing headgear, which serves as a symbol of the health and safety in an active way of her life, despite her penchant for stunning Alexander McQueen dresses and tiaras. However, that we're certain that she's asked for specifically for no photos taken of her from her location. No one likes seeing that side of her appearance in the tabloids either. Catherine's rank is shown in the Navy by the fact that the attendant opened the passenger door for her and held her umbrella in her arms, but not by her attire. Catherine blends in with the crowd at the naval facility when the America's Cup racing competition is staying. Intensely sassy. Think of Princess Anne, the prim and proper daughter of Queen Elizabeth II wearing shorts. You know what? Neither could we. In fact, Catherine seldom bears this much of her amazingly muscular legs not even when she's in laid-back settings. However, the daytime atmosphere of the King's Cup regatta demands such attire. An unexpected perk, Catherine is teaching Princess Charlotte the value of having fun. Introduction to parenting equipment. The basic striped blouse and pants immediately bring to mind the style icon that is Mother Katie Holmes. The pushed-up eyeglasses and the kid on the hip are typical accoutrements for a day playing baseball or polo alongside the kids. Charming and relaxing. When Catherine wears a zip-up, we all scream with delight. It's a standard style that everyone may find tucked away in their wardrobe, particularly in a timeless colour like black. This outfit fails to quite scream. I'm not concerned with the way I look, but I certainly seems to suggest I'm bored of coat dresses as well as heels, in our perspective. It's like we're back in the co-ed dorm room reminiscing about her. Now the game begins. The princess's presence on the court bleachers is rather surprising, considering the frequency with which basketball players collide with them. But subsequently again, she's a tremendous sports enthusiast and athlete, so sitting in the distant luxurious box with some hedging fund management types certainly wasn't going to suffice. Particularly when she had the opportunity to chat with the professional NBA star like Dikembe Mutombo. Let the mothers do the talking and earn a profit in the process. Biting down hard. There won't be any dainty tea sandwiches or scones. Princess Catherine and Prince William enjoyed some classic stadium popcorn while watching the Cleveland Cavaliers take on the Brooklyn Nets on Sunday in a game of NBA basketball. I'm curious whether, like us, she ordered a Diet Coke to wash down her theatre-style buttery popcorn. Managing the twos, a horrible time. Every mother has seen that expression. It's the feeling we get whenever our patience has finally run out with our child, and we're ready to give him to the annoying who is willing to adopt him in the middle of enormous tantrums. We're willing to wager that Prince William, or the childcare provider, is lurking in addition to the photo's visible area. Royal Court Queen Catherine's surprising superpowers must be promoting an active and healthy way of life, just as much as Princess Diana's has been the ability to connect with commoners via compassion. In addition, doing so on the spur of the moment while wearing high heels, as was the case with this trip to the Olympic Stadium for the London Olympics in 2012. 
there's no doubt that we're on Catherine's side. Fanatic of sports. How much do we adore this? Catherine, shown here during the 2012 Olympics in London, does not simply seem astonished at what you've been occurring. She's additionally sports and critical squinting at what makes her face appear like she's going to shout at the official over a terrible call. As a lifetime athlete, she has impressive depth of knowledge about athletics, so we can only imagine how epic her rage might be. Let's set sail. Our best guess is that Catherine's shrug is a way of saying, let's believe that this goes more successfully than Gilligan's Island, according to the photographers. Even if the wind is picking up, we have absolutely no clue about how to motivate, or whatever the correct term is, a huge old yacht like Catherine does. But we know for a fact that both of our hands belong on the steering wheel. Catherine, don't forget to set your wrist at 10 and 2. Toss the ball around. In an alternative timeline, Catherine is still well known, yet unknown for her role as a doting mother and potential monarch. The woman is a regular gal who made it big in athletics, competing professionally in a variety of British and Ivy League-esque activities like hockey, volleyball and rowing. She has our support. Indeed, we know your pain. The expensive military garb and, well, the mere existence of Prince William in this photo is screaming royal, but that's okay. And yet, whenever Catherine's heels become trapped in a grate when she's trying to break it free, the guys surrounding her look hopeless as they watch on. This occurs to us every other week. A stroll across the park. The publicly accessible Kensington Gardens is adjacent to Catherine's house at Kensington Palace. Thus, there were numerous occurrences of regular Catherine when throughout the course of time. It probably begins with the simple scenes like the one shown above, when Catherine is out for a stroll with a fellow mother of her personal children and dog, a mother doing what mothers do. Dress Down Barbie Catherine might have had a wonderfully muscular thighs of a fitness goddess. However, she dressed like any other person during the Olympics in 2012 in London by wearing a white polo shirt, coloured thin jeans, slices and loose locks while waiting for the Olympic flame. Nobody could be more anti-regal than that. Very talented. What constitutes is so weird regarding the Princess of Wales sporting the globe's most renowned and expensive engagement ring, whereas she holds a struggling sheep and shears off its wool everything. However, as a directly involved mother that has undoubtedly tamed a rowdy kid or two in her period of time. It's no too dissimilar from that. Winter Bunny. Catherine looks like any other active lady pounding the piece in a traditional ski attire, if it hadn't been for the camera crew there to record her every time she falls. Even the photographers are unable to photograph her all through her descent on the slope, so she'd be grateful for that. Maybe they can't, however. Uh oh, Daisy. We experience the same exact scenario whenever we visit the vineyard after we've tasted the champagne. Our high heeled shoes get caught in the greenery and we fumble about. It doesn't matter as though we plowed through bottles of Pinot, Zinfandel, or Sauvignon, nevertheless, skipped snacking on crackers and dairy products because, you know, fats and carbohydrates are bad. Nope. An old time fun. Princess Catherine hadn't always been Catherine. Once upon a time, there was a regular girl who loved spending time out and about with other girls, getting drunk and partying, and her girls worked diligently to develop a partying supplies business. Many photographs are witness to this, and we occasionally speculate as to whether or not she remembers the simpler days. Kissable Glance Princess Catherine and Prince William, in contrast to the overtly loving Meghan and Harry, have seldom indulged in public displays of affection, beyond their memorable day of wedding kisses. However, they perform during an award presentation to give polo trophies. William is happy, but clearly uncomfortable, while Catherine appears to be enjoying herself despite the presence of several onlookers and numerous cameras. Thank you for watching today's video. What do you think about Princess Catherine? Please let us know your thoughts and goodbye for the time being.